right. How's everybody doing tonight? I'm doing fantastic. So, normally these uh, Monday and Wednesday nights I've been streaming Backyard Baseball. We finished the season last week. And I thought for one final stream I would do before Thanksgiving break is something I wanted to do for a while. It is Donkey Kong Country Game Boy Advance Hero Mode. Donkey Kong Country was the third Let's Play I ever did, and that was years ago. Back when my microphone quality was absolute trash. Now I have better mic quality, and I'm ready to go through this amazing game again. I prefer Donkey Kong Country on the GBA over the Super NES because it's the version I grew up with. I also like how it has nice... It's got nicer controls, I'd say. Like, it controls much better and tighter. Whereas the SNES version, like, it was, it would be hard to, like, turn around in midair, for example. But you can do that in this one. Anyhow. It's time for Hero Mode. So, what is Hero Mode? That's where you play for the whole game as just Diddy Kong. No Donkey Kong. And we have no checkpoints. So, this is gonna be fun. Oh, yes, it is. Anyhow. <laughs> it doesn't let me fit Artie on, so I'll have to just go with Art. Let's go. Oh, so you think you're ready to face the Kremlin Hordes, do you? You'll need more than that flashy new costume to get you through this game. DK has taken a well-earned rest after clearing up your mess. Don't expect any help from me, either. I'm far too old to tag along with you. I wish you luck. You'll need it. Come on, OBS, don't go crashing on me now. Oh yes, next time you swap costumes, have a look at the mirror before leaving the shop. You look like a banana bird. Diddy also gets the nice yellow shirt and hat to signify its hero mode. Alright, well, this is one of my favorite platformer games of all time, and I've been through it many times, so hopefully we can get through the whole game in just a single stream. Well, correction, we will be getting through the whole game in just a single stream. I'll even try getting all the bonus barrels, too. All DK buddy barrels have been replaced with regular old wooden barrels. Yeah, we can't jump on a lot of the enemies' heads now. We're not good enough as Diddy Kong. It's not as heavy as Donkey Kong, so we're gonna have to roll into a lot of enemies. We still got Rambi, though! Hey, Proxima! Welcome! Welcome to the country of Donkey Kong, except now it's Diddy Kong country. No Donkey Kong in this playthrough. I'll also try to spell Kong wherever I can as well. I don't particularly care about getting the bonus games, though. I just want to enter the room and leave. Because <laughs> it doesn't care if you actually beat the bonus room, it just cares if you've entered it or not. Alrighty. <laughs> These levels should be going pretty fast. Time for Ropey Rampage. I'm sure a lot of people have never even seen the GBA Donkey Kong Country. And the, the SNES version definitely has better graphics, and you could argue better music. But again, this is the version I grew up with, and I just, I love the controls. It controls so well. Also, the soundtrack is still pretty awesome, even on the Game Boy Advance. Hang on. There we go. Couldn't remember which gap had the bonus barrel beneath it. Find the exit. Where is it? Donkey Kong, that's what you need to find. Oh! K-O-N! And that bonus barrel lets us skip a huge part of the level, which is kind of cool. This is what we think of for Donkey Kong Country. Swinging on vines and jumping over bees. Okay, I'll, I'll beat this bonus game, because it's super easy. And it's, like, honestly almost faster to beat it. Because there's a really long lose animation. Nice job, Diddy. Get as many balloons with Donkey Kong's face on them as you can, even though you're the star of this game. Alright. This last part is actually kind of tricky. Doggone it, you stupid armadillo! <laughs> You can't jump- as Diddy Kong, you can't jump on them while they're rolling. Well, I didn't spell calm. It's, it's not a valid run. I gotta spell calm. 
Maybe I won't do it that for every level, but I can do it for the first world, at least. Yeah, if the, if the armadillos are curled up in a ball and rolling around as Diddy Cohen, you can't kill them by jumping on them. <laughs> Jumped off, jumped down the wrong gap, but it's okay. It all worked out. This is seriously one of the best 2D platformers ever, though. Donkey Kong Country in general, I love this series. Okay. Now I just have to get out without dying. There we go. Man, those... Armadillos are probably one of the more annoying enemies to deal with in hero mode. Hey, Cranky! <laughs> you seem to be doing quite well, but if I had been playing, I would have got here much quicker. One thing before you leave. To save your progress, you simply press Start on any world map to bring up a menu. Then you just select the save icon. Yeah, we don't have to visit Candy just to save in this dungeon. Anyhow, off we go to Reptile Rumble. Well, that won't do. There we go. Bonus room. Nice one up. My goal is to have that one up counter be 99 at the end of the game. Well, one of my many goals. Oh, I love this bonus room. It plays itself! <laughs> it's like one of those Mario Maker levels that everybody loves so much. <laughs> well, I'm not sure how I got for that alive, but alright, I'll, I'll take it. You're not allowed to take damage in hero mode. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Easier to die in this mode, and the punishment for death is steeper. I, I do not care about the on guard tokens in the slightest. <laughs> Unless they died at this last part, alarmingly frequently, considering how often I've beaten the game. <laughs> those, those Kremlins mean business. Alright, Reptile Rumble. Off to the underwater coral caves. Uh, if, I, if only I wasn't in, in, imposing the challenge to spell Colin on every level, otherwise I could take the work barrel. to get our friend on guard. It's the only it's the only way we can survive underwater. And where did the one-up balloon go? It apparently despawned it. How dare you chomps? I should actually probably be avoiding those animal tokens, because that'll make me reset the whole level if I collect all three of them. I mean, granted, I'll get a butt-ton of extra lives, but... I hope we won't need those extra lives. There we go. K-O-N-G call. We also could do Funky's Fishing, but there is literally no point, because we don't even get photos in the hero mode. But I'm gonna unlock the Call Funky option. Let's go to the real level, Barrel Cannon Canyon. Oh, I didn't realize that that was a pit. Whoops. 
Diddy was just getting a little overexcited, y'all. Darn it. Sometimes, sometimes the tiny camera can screw you up just a little bit. No shortcut for us. We don't want to skip anything important, like the O. Oh, I was... Never mind, I can take that shortcut. There we go, that's the part I was thinking of. Hey, Prince Dusk, what's up? Are you ready for Diddy to save the world? And by that I mean, are you ready for Diddy to beat up a crocodile? Just one. Definitely not more than that. Collect the prizes! No, I don't want any Ungard tokens. Those are the bane of my existence. That bonus sucks. get barely any extra lives on that one. Oh, wait. Yeah. Can't leave without the spelling call. Oh, no. I always screw up at that part because I get too greedy. Got distracted by a green dinosaur throwing eggs. I wonder which green dinosaur that could be. You're talking about Baby Bob, right? <laughs> Proxima, you think Rambi's bonus is the word? No, Rambi's bonus is awesome. Like, you can get a ton in that. If, if I get the Rambi bonus, I'll show you. Did I... Did I pick up... Oh, I did. Okay. On guards, I think, yeah, on guards you can get up to five, and like every other bonus you can get at least seven. And then there's, uh, then there's expressos where it's just like, oh yeah, have all the lives. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, the expresso bonus is amazing. Too fast! <laughs> Take five! I did not expect to be dying this much this early. I think the, the level that will probably cause me to stop trying to spell Colin on every level is the minecart level. Because I would love to be able to take the warp barrel for that. You never got Hero Mode? So Hero Mode is GBA exclusive. Or after you... I can't remember if you have to just beat the game or if you have to beat the game and, in addition to that, uh, get all of the bonus barrels or, like, spell Cullen on every level. I think you just have to beat the game and then you can play Hero Mode. You have to start a new folder for that, though. But the thing is, the more we die on this level, the more lives we get because we can pick up a whole bunch of extra lives. I can't believe I didn't die there. Here's my N, all right. Now, Marty, you're gonna take this part with the bees a little bit slower. <laughs> Can't take my own advice. All right, Marty, you're gonna take this part with the bees slower. <laughs> There's my G, all right, cool. Well, that level was the first real world roadblock, but not too bad. Woo! You have to get 90% to unlock Hero Mode. Okay. Well, my goal for this is... I mean, if I can get 100%, it would be great. I don't have to, though. One of the easiest bosses of all time. Take that. <laughs> very naughty is not very difficult. <laughs> I love how Diddy's literally in this mountains of bananas, and he's only excited about the big one that comes down. <laughs> I can't believe it! You tribaled all over Naughty! 
Give me that giant banana. I'll take good care of it for you. Come on, get going. You can't rest yet. All right, I got that exclamation point, so that means I'm doing it perfectly. Okay, the background on this level is very faded for the GBA, but the music is so good. Hey, Winky. <laughs> this level is also, like, I think spatially this is the shortest level in the game. There's almost no terrain on it. Oh, yeah. Some of the, yeah, some of the levels are annoying in this, for sure. You get that in, like, any 2D platformer. Let's do Espresso Bonus. Okay, Espresso, you, you missed your footing there. Not my finest work on the espresso bonus. Oh my, wait, you can, never mind, this is my finest work on the espresso bonus. I've never gotten over a thousand before. <laughs> All right, wow, I, did, I thought it capped at 999. Never mind, <laughs> that is literally the best I've ever done on the espresso bonus. <laughs> Yeah, d definitely some of the most annoying levels are um, Tanked Up Trouble, Oil Drum Alley, uh, Platform Perils. Basically anything in the last two worlds is pretty difficult. Winky. The fact that Winky has to hop everywhere, even when he's just walking on the ground, is kind of annoying. Okay. Well. Uh, apparently the game dropped my cartwheel input. That's okay. It's bound to happen. And if it has to happen... <laughs> okay, th that's just embarrassing. <laughs> this is like the easiest level in the game. And I'm screwing up at it. We're paying another visit to that bonus room. <laughs> just to grab all those bananas. Keep do not jump off a cliff. <laughs> Please don't. Love That's also one of the best bonus rooms. I I will I will pass on another on guard token. Yeah, that level is so tiny. I think in the, um, I want to say the Game Boy Color version of this game, like, they actually made that level longer. And they added another, uh, level to Chimp Caverns called Necky Nutmare. Wish that was in the real game. Diddy, my boy, where's Donks? Dude, it's hero mode. He doesn't exist. You wouldn't know a good game if you were standing in it. Rolling Rubber will put you en route in Millstone Mayhem. On Guard Swordfish will help you get right to the point. Get it? Gotta go now. I'll see you guys later if you're lucky. You don't like the GBA version due to the small camera and the lack of a GBA backlight? That's true, but if you're playing on emulator, you can get through levels like loopy lights. No problem. Alright. This is gonna be the major roadblock. This level is tough. I won't use the warp barrel if I can help it. But if I get tired of this level, I absolutely am going to use it, no qualms. The tiny screen for the GBA makes this level arguably even harder than in the SNES version. There's the non-existent checkpoint barrel, and now we have to start dodging other minecarts and enemy minecarts. That was close. That's close. Yeah, 
they, those guys, if, if you don't know where they are, like, you're not jumping. This minecart level is way harder than the one you get uh, later in the game. Oh my gosh, I soloed that without dying. Wow. That, I did not expect to get for that, no deaths. But alright then. <laughs> hey, hey, Mobius, it is indeed... The Cone of Donkey. Whew. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. This is the level, or this is like the level that as a kid was the first level to give me a ton of trouble. Like, the minecart level wasn't that bad for me as a kid, mainly because I accidentally found the warp barrel pretty easily. But this this level, this level stumped me for a while. Partly because I, believe it or not, on my first playthrough, of Donkey Kong Country on the Game Boy Advance. I beat the whole game without knowing you could run. That made tanked up trouble almost impossible. <laughs> he is Diddy Kong. His initials are still DK, though. Which is also what you should avoid uh, with your teeth. Well, bye, Winky. I didn't need you anyway. I needed him. <laughs> like, literally, it's, it's funny. Like, the, the only reason I figured out you could run in the Donkey Kong Country games is I started playing Donkey Kong Country 2. I made it to Hothead Hop, which is the first level of the second world. You need to run in that. Like, you need to hold the run button in order to get high enough off of, like, a catapulting crocodile. And I could not figure out how to beat the level. And I'm like, I, 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 I don't know how long it took me or when I made the connection that, like, oh, if you hold the if you hold the attack button, you run. And if you hold run, you can jump farther and get launched farther. But that was, like, a dull moment. Hey, Zydepie, welcome! For, oh, you beat the game for the first time two weeks ago. Nice! Congratulations! This is an awesome game. Finished the second one a few days ago. Donkey Kong Country 2 is my favorite DK Country game. This is second, but DK Country 2 is so good. I love everything about it. <laughs> Except a handful of the levels. <laughs> like any level involving wind. <laughs> also, Web Woods. Curse Web Woods. <laughs> Bonus barrel! Oh yeah, the Game Boy SP. I never actually owned an SP. I always just had the Advance, and I, I had the little worm light adapter. That or you just had to play right in front of a light if you wanted to see properly. I'm not doing too shabby on this 100% business. Alright, this is, this is one of my personal favorite levels. Stop and go station. One of my favorite challenges is in the SNES version is getting through this level without ever hitting the stop barrel. Yes, it can be done, and it's really fun. <laughs> it's... I think it can technically be done in the GBA version, but it's way harder. Because the rock crocs that are on the tiny platforms in the SNES version run slowly, and in this they run just as fast. Ouch! Link to the Past is an amazing game. It's, it's a tough one, especially if you're not used to 2D Zeldas, but it's such a good game. Holy cow. I like how on this level you gotta go fast. Like, even if you're not playing a speedrun of it. There we go. 
You don't like the idea to remove the final boss music from Donkey Kong Country 3? Yeah, I, I didn't realize the GBA version was supposed to have a final boss song, but... It's okay, I really like the GBA uh, normal boss music, so it honestly kind of fit. Yes. Get that tire, boom! Yeah, sure, I'll go for the winky bonus as well. Maybe I'll try to get all the bonuses once to show how good slash bad they are. Yeah, see how fast these guys were running back and forth on the tiny platforms? Oh man! Darn it. You, like, in the SNES version, they do it slowly, so you can actually, like, jump on the platform while they're on it and navigate for them, but not in this version. <laughs> Yeah, from what I from what I understand for the GBA soundtrack of Donkey Kong Country 3, there are two boss themes. One plays on most bosses, and the other plays for like two bosses. One being the spider, the other being the octopus. I think that boss music was supposed to be the final boss music, but like it got screwed up in ordering, and people assumed it was just meant for a different boss. No winky bonus today. <laughs> I like how the last one wears off <laughs> really fast, so you actually have to navigate the last part without it. Oh yeah, there's a third Donkey Kong Country game. It's not it's not as good as the first two, but it's still fun. We were falling off a cliff. It also took me ages to find out one find one of the bonus barrels on this level. Well, that didn't work out. Did they remaster Donkey Kong Country? I mean, they made Donkey Kong Country Returns and Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Uh, I really liked Tropical Freeze. I thought that was better than the third game. No, I gotta get the K. Gotta get the K. I'll just have to blow up some Crushes. Yeah, Crushes are nasty enemies on Hero Mode. The only way Diddy can possibly kill them is via a barrel. Yes, give me the K. <laughs> gotta go to Kmart. Yes, I love the pun. This, I think, just... Oh, that has a tire. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, no. Did I get it stuck? No, I did not. Good. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> the creme mark. Hey, Nintendo Attic! What's up? Oh, man, we got a nice crowd tonight. <laughs> a big crowd for me is rare. Yes, you know how to spell. Yes, you really, really do. Yes, you really know how to spell. <laughs> oh, we, get we do we do indeed get the on guard bonus. Yeah, hero mode gives you the nice, snazzy, uh, ugly yellow outfit. <laughs> yeah, on guard bonus, I mean, it's not awful. It's just you don't get nearly as many extra lives here as you would in any other bonus. I guess the winky bonus you get a similar amount. Oh, 
Millstone Mayhem was your favorite level as a kid? It's a fun one, for sure. I love the temple music. I'm sure I could have gotten more tokens if I had waited a bit before getting that, but I've never gotten more than 500 tokens for this bonus. Oh, God! Feeling exhausted trying to recover from your cold? Oh, that, that sucks, Nintendo Addict. I hope you can feel better. Colds are never fun. <laughs> I love the sound effect crushes make when you pull them up. <laughs> The Crawlings make funny sound effects in this game, especially in the GBA port. <laughs> yeah, it took me ages to find that bonus barrel in particular. Love how they forgot every animal friend except Rambi. I mean, to be fair, most of the animal friends besides Rambi kind of sucked. I mean, I guess On Guard is useful just because he's your only option for combat underwater. But, I mean, Expresso's not amazing. Winky's just not very good. Like, you get hit by him so easily because he hops everywhere. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, thank goodness. I was just barely high enough. Oh, speak, speak of the frog. Because he has to hop even when he's on the ground, he hits stuff so easily. And it's very easy to just lose him. Rattly... Rattly's also not great, but at least Rattly was easier to control. So it was an improvement in that regard anyways. Eh, screw Winky, I don't need you. Winky was Donkey Kong Country Freeze Frog Suit. Exactly. I don't care about those bananas, I just gotta get out of here. The graphics remind you a little of Pitfall. Anyone remember the game? Oh no, Proxima the stream stopped updating? It's fine on my end. Hmm. I've heard of the game Pitfall, Mobius. I have I don't know what it refers to though. I haven't played it. <laughs> Alright. Time for Neki's nuts. Peanuts, that is. Actually, those look more like almonds. Neki is nuts. That's what the apostrophe S is there for. The bosses are s <laughs> with honestly, with only two exceptions, the bosses in this game are really easy. Oh, you sure showed that stupid bird who's boss? Good, that's another banana back. Now go down to the Vine Valley and find the others. All right, vulture culture. This is where the levels start getting pretty tough. Vine Valley is where the game starts kicking off the difficulty a little bit. They're supposed to be coconuts. That, that also would make sense. They are very large. K-O-N-G, Kong! Yes, you know how to spell. Yes, you really, really do. Yes, you really know how to spell. How they give you the victory fanfare literally just for knowing how to spell a four-letter word. Imagine being in a world where you get another life just because you know how to spell a four-letter word. Oh yeah, I like the Bash the Baddies games. You get a lot of bananas that way. <laughs> just juggle off of them, it's great. Projectiles put me on edge. Yeah. 
That's a, that's a well-hidden bonus room. I love that one. Some of the bonus rooms are well-hidden for good reasons, and others are well-hidden for bad reasons. Thank you, YouTube, for giving me alerts during my stream. I'm kind of busy right now. <laughs> Oh, oh, now it's time for my all-time favorite level in the, in the first game, Treetop Town. I love this level. Love this level. So much. I love how fast you can go for this level. Yeah, throw your hat in the air, Diddy Kong. Do that, Victory Dance. This level is also a lot harder in the SNES version, because the camera doesn't catch up with you very well. This level just feels so good when you play it. It's magnificent. A+. Plus. I know exactly what one you're thinking of, Prince Dusk, yeah. Is it on Oil Drum Alley, by any chance? The one that I... That was the... I think that was one of... That might have been the only bonus barrel I actually had to look up where it was, because I, nev I never would have found it. Also, the music... Most of the music is the same. This is like a totally different song than the GBA version. <laughs> yep, N Nintendo Addict knows what I'm talking about. What's wrong with the camera, Mobius? It's great. <laughs> it's really great. Oh yeah, this introduces the evil Kremlings that like run a little bit before jumping. They'll kill you so many times on your first playthrough. <laughs> Because your instinct when you find a, cr a critter is to just be like, oh, I'll jump. And then you'll always jump right into them. <laughs> and that is how I lost, like, 30 lives as a kid. definitely changed the instruments for True Top Town. I feel like they changed almost the whole tune as well. Made it a different pace. I, I like the GBA Tree Top Town music a lot better than the SNES version. It's way, way funkier. More energetic. Then again, I'm also a weird person because I grew up with all the GBA games. I'm like, I like the GBA soundtracks better for with, with, uh, with some obvious exceptions, uh, Sticker Brush Symphony comes to mind. I'm like, why do people like this song? Oh, it's because the GBA version sucks. <laughs> give, give me a zener. Oh. I wanted to make a good zener pun, but uh, it just wasn't meant to be. Lost that on purpose, because if I had gotten that, I would have had to restart the whole level. This is an evil... Darn it! Oh, wait. But... <laughs> yes. Oh. Time for a big brain play. <laughs> big brain, big brain, big brain. Oh, yeah! I always forget you can just gently set the barrel down. I don't think... That it might be the first time I've ever done that. Like, I knew you could do that, but it always slips my mind, because it's like, why would you ever do that? It's for that kind of situation. 
I think in the past I've always just, um, killed all, like, not picked up the barrel, killed all the enemies, come back, grabbed the barrel, and then gone down. But I like your way better, Nintendo Attic. That, that's like a 300 IQ move. And that's impressive, because IQ only really caps at around 200. <laughs> Whew! Well, that was... that was a near thing. We're making good progress, though. Time for a rain attain gain. This level... oh man, this level has way too many bonus barrels. Or bonus rooms. This is... this level had another bonus room that I had to look up. Boy, howdy, was it in a jerkish spot. Like, I don't know how anyone would find it without looking it up. The O is very difficult. <laughs> I swear the, the kill plane on this level sucks you down, so it's a really precise jump to actually reach that O. And Diddy, that's why we need to wear shoes. Five bonus rooms. I always forget if it's five or six. There are so many on this level. They really they really make you hunt for them on this level. If you wait too long before you jump, you die, and if you do it too early, you get this is such a jerkish O. There we go. I, I, I pushed the jump button. I, it just didn't register. Well, well, let's make this beginning part easier. Bam! go from the other way, it looks easier from the right side. I, I was wondering if we even could go from that side. I'll try it. Sure enough. Alright. Yeah. For the first bonus barrel, you must grab the ostrich and fly all the way back to the beginning of the level. So the ostrich cannot kill enemies, so you have to go real slow. And do a blind hover all the way back to the beginning of the level, and yeah. I had to look that one up. Winky! That's not realistic at all. Ostriches in real life are vicious. <laughs> Alright, time for Winky Bonus! Give me all those lies. Get me out of this pit. Well, that's a pretty good one for the Winky bonus. Eight lives is something to be proud of. Only bonus we have to get now is the Rambi one. <laughs> Which is my second favorite. Oh, hey, we have Espresso at the beginning. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. How come, how come some of these trees we can't land on? No, 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 give me back my ostrich, pal. I better get an, another ostrich... Nope, no ostrich crate. Well, fine. Guys, we're both we're both monkeys. Why do you hate me? Nope, always forget where the 
I always forget where the bonus stage is. There are a couple of bonus rooms on this level where you literally just have to fall down. And it's like, oh, <laughs> you thought it was a bottomless pit? Psych, there's actually a bonus room here. What do you mean? Of course there's a bonus room here. Don't you, fall, don't you always fall down every bottomless pit you reach? Actually, I think we need Expresso to reach some of the bonus rooms, so crud. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you have to do a roll jump at the end of that. Didn't roll far enough! Nintendo Attic, you would put this stage as your most hated in the game, or one of your most hated in the game? Wow, that's... that's surprising. I honestly kind of like this stage, if it weren't for the fact that the bonus rooms were stupidly annoying to get. I like the jungle levels. Plus, this beats out everything and almost everything in the last two worlds. The last two worlds are just filled with annoying levels. where I need the freaking ostrich. That one is evil as well. You have to fall down two fake bottomless pits. And as, <laughs> and as a punishment, you get two extra lives. Yeah, the nested bottomless pit. That's that one's. J there's, there's difficult level design, and then there's sadistic level design. That's that runs closer to the sadistic level. Do I have to carry a barrel all the way to the end? I do, don't I? I'm. There was a freaking Mankey make, Cone all the way back there? Come on. Oh, well, at least I only have to get one bonus room now. I need to I need to remember that you can actually set barrels down. That, that information runs counter to all of my experience playing the Donkey Kong Country series, but sometimes setting the barrel down gently is the best way to go. If you have to carry it a long distance. Those Dane, those Dane clap traps getting all up in my business. But when I was a boy, did he? Come on. This was like the Meta Knight mode of Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. Oh, I remember Nightmare in Dreamland. I probably spent more time playing like the GBA Link multiplayer than I did playing the actual game. With like the like grind uh the like rail grinder game, bomb tennis. Simple but fun games. With this controller tapping the A button while holding the run button is kind of annoying. There we go. 
I missed the end somewhere, didn't I? Oh, I'm... <laughs> I missed both of them. I missed the N and the G. Stupid Mickey Kong! Okay, th there was literally zero time to react to that. It was just like, oh, yeah, barrel materialized in like the 0.08 seconds that you had your back turned. I'm beginning to see why people dislike this level so much. Okay, take 10. Actually, I think I've died more than 10 times on this level by now. It sure feels like it. I don't even need espresso. I'm gonna regret saying that, aren't I? I outran a steel keg just so I could catch it again. That's funny. That's right, the N is down here, and the G is in one of the bonus barrels. I think. It might be the one down here, actually. The kill plane sucked me down! Again, it literally, like, it sucked me down. I pressed A it before it should have killed me. All right, see you, Nintendo addict. Have a good, have a good nap. Thanks for joining in. Come on. Darn it! Stupid. Oh, get back here. I swear the kill point is higher than it looks. Get me really on it. Okay, you know what? I'll, you know what? I'll get my pet ostrich. My pet bird brain. I can't remember exactly where the G is. It's in one of these bonus rooms. Doggone it, you stupid I thought he was gonna turn around before he jumped. If I wasn't trying to get 100%, I'd probably be actually be done with the game by now. Because <laughs> I know all the warp barrels. Warp barrels are fun. And there's 11 of them. And the game doesn't have that many levels, to be perfectly honest. Espresso, we hardly knew ya. That was risky. in the nested one. Yes, Espresso is his actual name. Okay, if the G's not in here, then I'm going to be mad, because that means it's in the really hard to reach bonus room. Nope, there it is. Good. We spelled calm. We got all five bonus rooms. There we go! Arena Tain Game. Its name is Expresso, like Express, not Espresso. Alright, Clam City. Nice to know that the underwater levels, there are no bonus rooms. So we just have to focus on finding them letters. Ouch. 
Chomps bit my butt. I hate it when that happens. I'm sorry, Chomps Jr. No, no, no. My, my swordfish, no! Now I gotta navigate the sharks on my own! <laughs> Touch the tail of a shark! Chomp! <laughs> it made the eating sound effect. This music is nice. This is aquatic ambiance. It's a beautiful track. I did the exact same thing. Darn it, I'm literally doing the exact same thing. But I got back on Ungar this time. Excuse me, I have a sharp pointy nose. Take that. I don't care about Winky Token. No, 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 my invincibility frames. Oh, no. Oh, Ungar, get back here. On guard. No, on guard. I need. I would love to ride you, so I don't have to worry about getting hit by the pearls. Yes. Yes. Ooh, see, on guard. <laughs> Later. Have I ever seen the video of the marlin jumping out of the boat and stabbing a fisherman? No, I have not. I have not had that recommended to me on YouTube before. Diddy, my boy, where's Donks? <laughs> You're on your own. The kids of today, they don't respect any of their elders. A single banana is all you need for a treetop town bonus. Grab them extra life balloons quick or they'll float away. You practically know more than I do now. Well, almost. Cranky, I would venture to say I know more about this game than you. <laughs> Can we please go. I don't even want to go to Candy, I want to go to Temple Tempest. Booyah! Rambi bonus! To all you naysayers out there, the Rambi bonus is great. Shouldn't have gone for the second lap around there. If I hadn't, I would have gotten way more tokens. Oh well, I still got six. That's pretty good. I just realized. Yeah, I needed to hold on to that barrel. This is another bonus barrel that took me ages to figure out. And as a result, I did not know you could even get Expresso on this level. Espresso can make some parts of this level even tougher than they're supposed to be. Oh, 
Oh, look, another Rambi token that we don't need. Yay! Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> Espresso, we need to smash that to get that N. This is another evil thing. You gotta just drop off the cliff to find the G. Like, what the heck? What's the challenge run? The challenge run is the fact that I'm playing on hero mode. Which means only Diddy, no buddy barrels, no checkpoints. Alright, this is one of the few bosses in the game that's actually kind of hard. Also, this boss is totally different than it was in the SNES version. Ouch, jumped too far. Again, the SNES version it was literally just avoid it moving around. And this you actually have to destroy its mini bees that it ouch. This one's also tough if you only have Diddy. and hit it while dying. I like it when you can knock out multiple bees with a single barrel. Like that. Alright, here we go. Now the boss actually gets hurt. The arms. Alright, but I knocked out the annoying parts of the arms. <sighs> kind of surprised it didn't count that as a hit. Alright, come on, come on. Yes! Quick kill! <laughs> you can kill all five of the bees that spawns at the end if you have a bee uh, if you have a barrel there right as it spawns them because they're all grouped together as one. <laughs> well, you told him to buzz off. You looked in trouble for a while. Come on, hand it over. I'll take that banana for you. Make sure you wrap up warm. I've got a feeling you'll need to. All right, off to the Gorilla Glacier. Yeah, Queen Bee ain't too nice. Also, I can't exactly remember where all three of the bonus barrels are on this level. I know this one and the one right next to the checkpoint. I kind of forgot about where the last one is, though. I don't want a winky token. Is there a barrel in the midst of all of the rotating barrel nonsense? the lower look right. You gotta chill when I enter the stage because of the music. Also, many people consider this the hardest level in the game. It, it's definitely not. It's a tricky one for sure, but... Oh, it's cold in your house. <laughs> That's even better. Jump around the Crusher. Get in this bonus barrel. Get the O. Yeah, and I forget where the fern bonus barrel is, actually. Ow. 
damage. Oh, great. I had to start over from the beginning. No checkpoint, that's right. Oh, this level is going to be real pain in the patootie. I like the music for this level. And I honestly like the ambiance, too. It's just a very tough level. But not the hardest. I know there were bananas down there. I know there's a giant shortcut down there. I'm more just trying to figure out where the last bonus barrel is. I've gotten two of them. I just can't remember where the third one is. And I think it's in... I think if you take the shortcut, you miss it. Otherwise, I absolutely would take the shortcut. Ow, 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 ow. He bit my foot. Wait, I actually killed a Crusher by landing on it. That's not supposed to be able to happen when you're Diddy Kong. Is it because I was from a really high place? Or was it because I was got launched out of a barrel game? Or was that actually a, a genuine glitch? <laughs> That's amazing. Well, I guess I'm taking the shortcut regardless. I freaking hate the camera there. Oh, I hate the camera at that part. So that's at least a consistent glitch, if that is the case. Does anybody remember where the last bonus barrel is on this level? <laughs> I would like to know. It's on a secret platform you have to blast down to. I think it's before the shortcut. Say so it's right around the end. Okay. Hmm. Not. 
That's weird. You can carwheel into Neckies. I just... It didn't work that time, apparently. Alright. Can we beat this for realsies this time? Once again, I out, I outran it. That's funny. All right, Let's do this. Do that. Okay, cool. Second bonus barrel. I think I remember where the third one is now. Watch me be completely rolling, and I blast off a cliff. That'll probably happen once or twice, honestly. Okay. Blast past here. I. There we go, yeah. Now I remember, yeah, okay. Well, that was short-lived. Okay, cool, so now we can take the shortcut. Or we can blast off a cliff. Brilliant, Artie, brilliant. Why are those so hard to time? They're so fast. My foot. I swear I'm good at this game. <laughs> I guess it's been a while since I've played it, but still. <laughs> Derp indeed. I believe most of my deaths can be attributed to just me derping out, having brain farts. The things I do to get 100% on a playthrough that's honestly can't you can't even get 100% anyways because the scrapbook is off limits in hero mode because it's impossible to get all the pictures. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Oh, thank goodness for the shortcut on this level. There we go. There's the exit. Phew. Cool. Spelled Calm got that exclamation point. Lovely. Slip slide ride. I like this level. This level is also considerably harder if you're playing with just one Calm. Like, considerably harder. I can't remember if we get the K as a reward for this, so I have to spell it out. Nope, we get an ostrich. I did not want an ostrich. Nice toss, Diddy. That's right, the K is up on top of one of these works. Right there, yeah. Second bonus room. Here we go. Oh boy, it's spelling time again. Nope. <laughs> Don't understand why you slide up blue ropes. Oh, it doesn't make a lick of sense. It's just the gimmick of the level. Slide, I slip and slide up and down. Yeah, and if, if you only have one colony, I got actually got to take this semi slowly. <laughs> oh no, when that hit me in the butt. <laughs> and Nintendo Addict is back. There's a war barrel in this level in the SNES version, but they took it out of the GBA version? I did not know that. It's okay, GBA version added a war barrel to Trick Track Trek, which is a much harder course. Actually, the GBA version has way more war barrels than the SNES version. 
He's got 11 of them. This, that's a part where you have to actually slow down on hero mode. There we go. Don't care about hitting the patch, because that's just an on-guard token. This part, yeah. This part is nasty to get through with just one. Actually, never mind. Not that part. It's the part after that. Let's find the exit! Mm -hmm. Let's jump past the ostrich so I don't have to reset the level. That's a good idea. Yeah, this, this is the part I was thinking of. With one cone, that is nasty, and you have to go through that if you want to get the end. Should have gotten the on guard, too. Oh, well, at least this level's fast. Also, beautiful level. Also, it's the only level in the game with this background and this music. Which is kind of interesting. This part always stresses me out. I don't know why. It's a really easy part. Darn it! Ugh. There's so there's such a tiny gap between those bees. It's very difficult. What's up, everyone? Did you just want some party? Blue rope, save me! Oh man, don't you hate it when you like grab onto something and it's so icy you start to slide up it? Yeah, I hate it when that happens. Doggone it! The problem is if you if you hold down too hard, then you're just gonna start climbing down really fast and then you'll hit the beat beneath you. I think I need to be less worried about hitting the beat beneath me. I remember back when I could beat levels without dying. Back when we were in the easier part of the game. Darn it, I should have just let him go all the way up. Dude. <laughs> I will get through this ice cavern. This course isn't even that difficult. <laughs> it's just difficult if you only have one cone and you're still trying to 100% it. That stupid end, man. Okay, well that was just really dumb. <laughs> oh no, we've got CDI quotes in my Twitch chat. <laughs> I just wonder what Gan ends up to. Hey, I would take CDI. Thanks for registering my cartwheel game. I appreciate it. <sighs> I'd much rather have CDI quotes in my Twitch chat than lots of cursing, profanity, and toxicity. 
Yeah! CDI quotes! Woo woo! I wonder how often people actually play the Zelda CDI games on Twitch. I wonder how many people have the ability to play the Zelda CDI games. <laughs> By the way, uh, Nintendo Addict, did you still want to do, like, a co-op Majora's Mask randomizer seed sometime? Because I am totally down to do that. Oh my gosh, I made it for Oh, freaking... <laughs> Thanks, camera. Sweet, we should we should plan that for the future. <laughs> Not this week. I'm a little busy this week, but in the future that would be a super fun thing to do. <laughs> I've never done a Majora's Mask co-op before. That would probably make it go a lot faster. Maybe we could one cycle it. <laughs> Friday? No, Friday is not going to work for this week. Thanks Thanksgiving week, I've got plans with my family. Unless you're talking about Friday of next week. No! Oh! Yeah. Actually, Nintendo Act, I have my own Discord server now, so, like, link is in my uh, Twitch about page, so if you want to join, feel free to. And we can, like, talk about it there. And if anyone else is interested. Or private messages also work. <laughs> I don't I don't think what are you planning this Friday was a pickup line. <laughs> Although over Twitch chat, you never can tell. <laughs> so what are you doing this Friday? Oh, s sorry, babe. I'm... Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> sorry, babe. I I'm playing Majora's Mask Randomizer. I think this is officially the course I've died on the most. Which is just kind of embarrassing. Especially since most of the deaths have been stupid deaths. Like the, like that one. Ooh, you're celebrating Thanksgiving on next Monday. That's cool. It doesn't really matter what day you celebrate it on. That's kind of what I've learned, where it's like, oh, if I don't celebrate my birthday on my birthday, it's not a big deal. I still get a year older regardless. <laughs> and, and after this, my next birthday, I'll be 25, and there will be literally no point in keeping track of my age after that, because at that point I'll be able to do anything. <laughs> after that, the next big milestone is I get the senior discounts on stuff. <laughs> Once you turn 25, it's like, oh cool, you can actually like get the discounts on rental cars, and then that's the last big milestone, boom! <laughs> See you when you're 55. Nope, not that rope. Not that rope. Not that rope. I don't need no more lives. If I still have a double digit amount of I have 64 lives. That is literally the perfect amount of lives. 64 is like the best number. At least when it comes to Donkey Kong. When you're 25, Mobius, you get the uh, the rental car discounts because apparently rental, apparently like you can rent a car if you're not 25, but like the rates are way more expensive because apparently they're like, oh, you're not 25, you're less experienced of a driver, you're more of a risk. And then once you're 25, it's like, oh, you can actually rent them at reasonable rates. And then after that, it's like, ah. Eh. Next important thing that happens is, like, you, when you get the senior discount. I freaking hate the bees! I hate that rope. Literally, my... Normally, when I 100% this game, my strategy is just purposefully tank a hit there, have two cones, just go up through it, and boom, you're good. That was stupid, but that didn't... 
Not the bees. The bees are such buzz kills. Oh man. If I ever make like a platformer game with bees as enemies, they, I'm going to call them buzz kills. That is literally the perfect name for a bee in a platforming game that can kill you. Strap paid off. That easily could have failed. All right. Ah! I hate this so much. I've made it this far. I'm getting 100% on this one. It's happening. the level by now, but no. I wonder I wonder what my memory could hold if I didn't have things like Donkey Kong Country levels memorized. Probably important things. I could remember people's birthdays. Or all of the presidents. You know what? I've got a new strategy for that part. I'm going to try out that new the new strategy. So my strategy is, instead of just trying to navigate past all of those bees, I'm just going to navigate past the first two and then jump past the third one. That should make things a bit more easy. Yeah, that's... Oh. I missed the O. That's right. I keep forgetting that I am not picking up the O. But that strategy worked. That strategy worked very well. That's way easier. Okay. Uh, yeah, Mobius. I started my Discord server very recently. Like, I think right now, besides me and my sister, there are, like, two people who have joined. There's not a lot there yet, but if it gets bigger... Okay, yeah. Keep forgetting. Gotta grab the O. that one part of the level so dang difficult. The rest of it's pretty easy. It's just like, oh, you want to get the N without, like, getting a hit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that. Good luck with that. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just making dumb mistakes now. I should probably stop trying to read Twitch chat while I play. Maybe that would improve my performance. From now on, I'll read Twitch chat. Twitch chart. I'll, I'll read Twitch chat in between lives. <laughs> at a genuine breaking point. Like here. Torch short. I I can talk. Not well, but I can talk. I can say words. Yes. 
Oh man, I got rid of both of them. Okay, I remember. I remember the clap traps are there now. Finally! <sighs> Why are people talking about gay Luigi in my chat? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Luigi's straight. Alright, well, finally, finally we're on Croctopus Chase, which I normally consider a much harder level on Slip Slide Ride. I also don't remember where all the letters are. Good for me. <laughs> this is really cool. <laughs> so long, gay Bowser. I always thought he was saying so long, me Bowser. But it's then I'm like, wait, no, it's definitely Kane Bowser. But gay Bowser is funnier. Uh, no, I think I already missed the K. <laughs> I am almost positive I've missed the K. Yeah, I've, I've missed the K. Just kill me. Wait, I, when did I pick up the K? I'm very confused right now. When did I pick up the K? <laughs> Diddy's body must have made physical contact with the K, but I'd have no memory of doing so. Am I going senile already? I'm a 68-year-old man already, so... It, it's not out of the question. Ouch. Oh, CDI, ho CDI Hotel Mario uh, intro when Mario said, Hey, Luigi! It sounded like he said, Gay Luigi. I, I can see that. Luigi's a pretty happy guy, after all. Alright, watch out for the squidge. Oh. Oh, the K is literally impossible to miss. That's why I don't remember picking it up. I'm like, where's the K? I don't know what the K is. I'm freaking out. Where's the K? It's like, Artie, the, the K was within you the whole time. No, 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 don't, don't touch me. I'm allergic to octopi. Not eating octopi, literally just touching one. Oh, well, oh my gosh, I never realized those the croctopuses actually have eyes, and that, now I can't unsee that, and that's terrifying. I mean, I don't like being touched myself, but I, I mean, I, I don't die when people touch me. I'm not quite that melodramatic. The O is an easy one to miss. The O! Forgot about Mr. Chops Jr. there. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Kawabunga! Ah, no, no, no. Okay, I, I have no idea why I just swam up into the jellyfish. That's a terrible idea. Guys, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm actually running low on lives. I don't even have 60 lives anymore. <laughs> the one the one nice thing about the SNES version, there's a very easy way to get, to get unlimited lives. You just go to Millstone Mayhem as Diddy, and then hop on one of the crush... <laughs> Hop on one of the crushes, hold down and left, and you'll just, like, hit him infinitely. Yeah, being able to unsee things would be pretty nice. I always thought the croctopuses in this just had no eyes. 
Nope, they do. And they are glaring at me. If I hug the left... Boom. Artie's finding the speedrun struts. I wonder if anyone speedruns the GBA version of Donkey Kong Country in particular. Probably someone does. I feel like everybody uh, speedruns the SNES version because it's faster, though. Because it has all those glitches. Alright. Watch out for the Chomps Jr. this time. You swim under him. Okay, all I need is to get... Oh, no. I thought that was where on guard was. This level is also fun if you don't know about the run button. Let me tell you what. Yeah, this level, <laughs> if you don't know the run button exists, oh man. Is it difficult? You definitely have to just strategically take damage. Okay. Follow the Croctopus, because the end might be down here. Nope, just a winky token. Let's avoid that. guards around here somewhere. I think he's around here somewhere. Don't tell me I already passed him. Oh, no, no, no. Keep swimming down. Keep swimming down. Keep swimming down. Ignore me. Ignore my inputs. Oh, no, I hate this part. Gotta swim in between the chomps. So... <laughs> okay, yeah, I think on guards around here. Or not. Did I already pass on guard? No, I did not. Uh, he's up here. He's up here. Gotta watch out for the chomps. Okay. I feel a lot safer now that I have on guard. Booyah! Whew. I forgot, you, you don't get on guard for that much of that level. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Alright, time for Cranky's Cabin. Best level. Did it, my young pup! Boy, I can't believe how you've grown! Free lives and free continues is all we had back then. On Snow Barrel Blast, down isn't always out. He can't really fly, but Expresso the Ostrich can flutter about. Don't know any more than that just now. Thanks, Grandpa. Alright, I'm off to the Ice Age Alley. Okay, and get Expresso. to happiness in this game. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh no, I don't want to go to the... Actually, no, no, you know what? I'll, I'll happily go to the Express bonus, actually. I can get some lies! And I can redeem my bad performance last time, where I broke my record, and I was like, oh man, I suck. <laughs> Expresso is the key to happiness. Jump on the steps. Breaking the triple digits. Oh yeah. Oh, eleven extra lives. That is feels good. And that happened close to the beginning of the level, so I don't even mind having to restart the whole thing. Yeah, that's a score. The espresso bonus is amazing. We're up to seventy lives again. Please still have me on espresso. 
That's exactly what I want to see. Shazoom! Life could be dream. Shaboom, and I can tell you about the paradise of above. Shaboom, hello, hello. There are some enemies that Expresso just phases through, like Claptraps and I think Mini Neckies. But it's hard to know which ones they are. Also, the end took me ages to find on this level and slash the last bonus barrel. What the heck? Thank God this is a barrel there. Yeah, you literally have to carry Express all the way here and then fly. That's the only place the end is. Oh! Well, yes, please. I will gladly take three extra lives. Yeah, there's a camera down there if you're not playing hero mode. Some of the cameras are really weird to get! I just pulled a Yoshi there. <laughs> but it saved my life. Oh, you jerk butt! Whew. Not today, Mankey Kong. Alright, last two levels of the world are actually really cool, though. I love them both. Fungus fishing! And we're on Rope Bridge Rumble. on this level, because you, you pretty much always lose him immediately. Also, it's really hard for Winky to bounce on the tires, like half- Thanks. Thanks, Winky. Alright, I'm not getting him again. He's, he's, he's terrible. Like, half the time when you jump on a tire as Winky, it doesn't even count that you jumped on a tire. Hope you like bouncy tires on this level, because you're going to get a lot of them. Ouch. A sharp shot. <laughs> that one's stun. Wasp is a good one. <laughs> I didn't forget about that. You're not kidding me to restart that one. Alright, whew. Got for the last turtle. That's a fun level. I love those treetop levels. Alright, here we go. This is where the game starts getting really hard for Diddy. For Diddy in particular. Because these enemies are not the easiest to take out. <sighs> At least in certain situations. You can't jump on their heads or else you are probably going to die. Also, there are crushes in the second half of the level. Give me that extra life. I feel like 
like the the last I feel like the second half of this world is way easier than the first half. Maybe not slip slide. Slip slide ride is pretty easy on the most part. It was only hard cuz uh, I was trying to get 100%. Yeah, we got to be patient with this. One. Oh wow, that was that the whole level, really? I remember the level being a lot longer than that. actually put a platform up there, even though they're, normally there are no platforms up there. It's the exception that makes the rule. And there's normally a camera above that exit. This one caused issue was on the SNES because every time you turned, a flash of white appears. Oh yeah, I remember that. That one was also really easy if you, uh, even if you... <laughs> Even if you, uh, on the GBA version, because they assume you don't have a backlit screen, so they don't make it as dark as it normally would be. So if you do have a backlit screen, like, say, playing on an emulator, you can basically see even if Squawks is not shining the light. Take that really naughty. Or an SP. The, the Game Boy Advance SP came out long after Donkey Kong Country was released for the GBA, though. Are my old eyes playing tricks? I'm sure I've seen that beaver before. Where could it have been? Grab the banana and give it to me. Head down the mountain to the factory. Oh, was that a rhyme? Alright, Creme Croc Industries Incorporated, Oil Drum Alley. Home of the most evil bonus barrel in existence. So that bonus barrel is actually really cool to find. I like that one. Okay, one up. There are four bonus barrels on this, but good luck finding them. Alright. Take them out. Grab this barrel. Carry it past them. Actually, I don't think we even needed to do that. Oh yeah. We can just land here, grab the TNT barrel, boom. So this is bonus room number two. So now what we want to do is get a regular banana, even though this is completely unintuitive. It gives us a barrel for literally no reason, it doesn't make even a lick of sense. And then we jump into the wall, and there's a second bonus barrel within the bonus room. How in the world would you ever figure that out? Second best song in the SNES version. I think it it's definitely one of the best songs, and it's it kicks butt in the GBA version. Maybe it's less atmospheric, but it's more bombastic, and I like that about the GBA soundtrack in general. You spelled it, you spelled it, you really spelled the name of the game that you are playing. You're really something else. Game Point Galleon is the best. Oh, that's a good one, too. I'm personally real quite partial to Life in the Mines, which plays on the Mineshaft levels. But I think we can all agree that just David Wise, who composed all the music, is a musical genius. You don't even need the tire to get the O, but it can help. <laughs> you can literally just use one of the Kremlins instead. Alright. Kablam! Oh wait, that doesn't even do anything. Hey, Rambi! <laughs> I think most of us found Rambi on this course on accident. And there's our last bonus barrel. Find the exit! Yeah, David Wise got brought back for uh, Returns and Tropical Freeze. Evelyn Fisher did the SNES uh, free soundtrack, and it was fine. It was, it was very, like, ambient. 
I'll say that. Like, all of the music definitely fit the ambiance of the levels, but it wasn't nearly as, like, bombastic as the David Wise songs. And I think I think David Wise did a am freaking amazing job on the GBA remastered soundtrack for that game. For some reason, like, for, like, a second before the fire actually goes out, you can stand on it and it's fine. And there's the G. Wow! I'm surprised that level went that smoothly. Yeah, he did really good with a weaker soundboard. Alright. Yeah, this is one of my favorite songs in the game. Which is good, because we're going to hear it for quite a bit, because it plays on, like, the hardest levels in the game. This is a really interesting level where you're on, like, the platform and all the enemies try to trap you. I think my favorite of the, uh, like, Tropical Freeze, like, slash Returns musics that returned was, uh, Tropical Freeze Lockjaw's Saga from 2 returned, and it was, it was chilling. It was really good. In particular, this song has been permanently ingrained in my head thanks to Tanked Up Trouble, which was the hardest level for me, bar none, in the original, or on my first playthrough, because again, I didn't know you could run. <laughs> that made some of the enemies literally impossible to get past, so you just had to hope you had a cone alive and then take the hit. You can also make the enemies come out early, but if you do roll jumps at specific times. I'm not gonna just wait for them to trap me. I take decisive action. I like that bonus barrel. That's in a fun place. Oh, hey, it's a red clap trap before they are actually introduced as enemies. It took me ages to realize that these guys just jump whenever you jump. I thought they were just unpredictable jumpers. And unfortunately, that one bonus barrel puts us back pretty far in the level. I'm not sure why they fought to bring us back this far, but whatever. I only played through uh, Returns once. It was fun, but I would say it's, I'd say it's my least favorite of the Donkey Kong countries, and I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that I played on the Wii with the kind of bad motion controls. I heard the, the 3DS remake of it was better. It was very amb ambitious. It was really difficult. Like, none of the Donkey Kong countries are a cakewalk, but Returns was a noticeable step up in difficulty. Like that, Mankey Kong. I don't like how the platform like speeds up and slows down at random parts. You just gotta hope you know when it's gonna happen. pick up the winky token, because I might have been, had to reset the... Actually, if I had to reset the level here, that wouldn't be too bad, because uh, there is this nice little thing called a warp barrel. 
Well, I didn't get the blues, but that's fine. I like one extra life as well. There we go. Trick, track, track. That's far. It, I don't think I've died on those first two levels. I think I one-shotted both of them. My memory is not the best. Alright. Poison Pond. Ah, uh, this is a tough one. I do not remember where all four letters are, because this level is a maze. I don't care about ten bananas. Especially if the bananas are literally in toxic waste. We can't eat those. We can't eat these bananas. Hope you're ready for mincers, because we're going to see a lot of those in the future. Ouch, ouch, ouchy, ouch, ouch. Well, yeah. <laughs> At least this pawn doesn't reverse control, it's true. Honestly, the poisonous pipeline level in 3, the only reason that it's difficult is because you have to jump out of the reverse controls water into non-reverse controls air and do jumps for that. If it was literally just normal water controls, it would be a really easy level. Pesky letters are. Oh no. Ow. Once again, this is another world. First three levels. Way tougher than the last three. Or actually, I guess. Okay, I guess the next level is pretty tricky. But the last two levels in this world are both really easy. Blackout Basement is easy. Like, I, do, I don't know why people always remember that level as being really difficult. Admittedly, the GBA version made it quite a bit easier. But even on the SNES version, it's relatively simple level layout. Again, the only reason it's tough is because the lights constantly blink in and out. But even then, it's, it's on a cycle, like, every few seconds, so... You can use it to your advantage. I should probably take this level slower. I feel like I'm taking all of these levels too fast. There's the oh, <laughs> I'm in danger. You take out that trash, Prince Dusk. Be productive. You do the job that needs to be done. So that's where the camera I think, normally is. Oh, is this where Hongard is? This is indeed where Hongard is. Oh, uh, joy. I am very glad Hongard exists on these underwater levels. It literally gives me a free hit. And if I can time it right, multiple free hits. Granted, he's not as good on this one, just because there are so many mincers that hurt him, but still. Go and... I think the G is, like, right next to the exit. No, 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 I'll come back on guard. It's not coming back. <laughs> Another level that is quite difficult if you don't know how to run. Who would have 
thought generic fish enemy would be so annoying on this level. Because they're in, they're in schools. Whew! Got it! Fungus fishing? Alright, elevator antics. Last tough level of the world. This is especially tough for Diddy. Again, it really helps if you can tank an occasional hit on this level. <laughs> Alright, good night, Mobius. Have a good night's sleep. Thanks for joining in. This part is annoying. Gotta line it up just right. I'll let that despawn. Ouch. Uh, yeah, this level is nasty. Like, you've got to line stuff up just right. Second bonus barrel. This is another level of some very deviously hidden bonus barrels. Give me that green balloon. I still want to have 99 lives when I finish. I'm not gonna like go out of my way to make that happen though. N is rather sneakily hidden. hit the egg. I was definitely on top of his head. Oh, Rocky's really mad now. Oh, I played so well, too. Sorry, I make weird noises when I either have close calls or extremely close calls.
the gauntlet now. Yeah, and then here you have to ride the elevator all the way down, and there's another secret bonus room. Phew. And there we go. That's elevator antics. All right, rest of the world should be a breeze. I say should, because that doesn't mean I'm still not going to die a whole bunch. Yeah, for this level, it's like, yeah, you need, you do need to take it a little bit slow, but other than that, it's really not that bad. I know there are some clap traps coming up, so I need to not be real happy. Yeah, there we go. Now we literally just ride on the keg for the rest of the stage. <laughs> we'll come back for the G later, but we have to break open the bonus room now. <laughs> this one's a lot easier in the GBA version. In the SNES version, the barrels completely vanish in the dark as well. We got night vision goggles, no big deal. Bada beam, bada boom! Blackout basement. First try, 100%. Easy. And now we're on the hardest level Candy's Dance Studio. We're gonna do one dance, why not? I'll show it off. This is quality gameplay right here. <laughs> Donkey here's. <laughs> While Diddy Kong's saving the world, Donkey Kong's just hanging out here dancing with Candy. <laughs> Donkey Kong, K rolls kidnapped all or has like captured all your banana horde. Oh, I don't really care. I still have my dance moves. Best part of the game right there, without a doubt. <laughs> cool, you know your moves. Give me three extra lives. Boom, 99 lives. That's what I wanted. All right, Minecart Madness, best level. Way better than the other Minecart level. Also, I had a, a... This also had a bonus barrel I had to look up the location for, because I could not find it for the life of me. <laughs> that was bad. Jump over the birds, not on them. Birds have a right to live as well. Yeah, this bonus barrel right here. I guess the lack of bananas is supposed to tell you to jump, but that's not the impression that I got. I had to look that one up. 
Don't feel bad about it. Yeah, this one is way easier than the Monkey Mines minecart level. Especially if you use both cones. Don't care about the animal tokens, I maxed out on lives! Spell the cone. Do it for the glory. Alright, this boss is actually kind of tough as Diddy Kong. He's not as good of a fighter as Donkey is. Diddy, my young pup. Boy, I can't believe how you grow. They can't keep this level of graphics up for much longer. Blackout basement sinking feeling and sky high. Run and jump on baddies to get extra springy leaps. See you later, alligator! Ha <laughs> ha! Well, that's nice. Now we get to fight the boss dumb drum. And it spits out enemies for us to fight. Critter are easy. And then we use TNT barrels to blow it up. Next we get... Depending on what you, uh, what... <laughs> oh. You take damage just by walking through it. Okay. Did not know that. The snakes are called either Slippas or Hissers. Welcome back, Prince Dusk. You show that, you show that garbage bag who's boss. We're at the end of Creme Croc, we danced with candy, Donkey- Oh, why did I do that? Donkey Kong has literally just been dancing with candy this entire time while Diddy's saving his banana horde. Traps don't roll into the Marty. Alright, now these are clumps next, I believe. Boom. We do roll into them. Alright, now the tough ones. Alright, that's good. It was Diddy's fault that the horde was stolen. I'm pretty sure it was K. Rule's fault that the horde was stolen. Oh dear, you call that tin can a boss? Surely K. Rule could come up with a better than that. Maybe a bucket or perhaps a really nasty fridge. Come on now, you're nearly there now. Just the chip cameras to go. This is where the game gets real nasty. All right, tanked up trouble, my old nemesis. It's honestly not as difficult as it used to be. Running makes it actually possible. Diddy was lazing about. They sent in crushes. He didn't have any barrels. What could he? What could he have possibly have done? Gotta get my account back up to ninety nine. First half of this level is a cinch. Second half gets... 
pretty tough. It's like trick, track, trek, but worse, because you have to you do fuel management as well. Diddy was lazing about. I mean, they K. Roll sent in his Crusha army. Diddy can't kill Crushas if he doesn't have a barrel. So what did you expect him to do? He was powerless against their might. Diddy has a high-pitched voice. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't do high-pitched voices. I guess I can kind of do a Mickey Mouse voice. Uh huh? Gosh, Pluto! Old Mickey Mouse, not the new Mickey Mouse. No, oh, yeah, that B tower. If you don't know how to run, you can't get past it. <laughs> so I'm just like, well, gotta hope I have Donkey Kong alive. Thus, hero mode would have been impossible for six-year-old me. And the annoying part is if you die on this in hero mode, man, it's it's a long time before you get back to where you were. This level's being an auto-scroller is a long. If only this level could have had a warp barrel on it. <laughs> but it's the last world, they wouldn't do that. You beat this level without running only Donkey? How? You must have carried a barrel for a very long period of the level. There goes the tire. That's okay. We can just roll jump to it. It wasn't that I couldn't find the run button, it was just I didn't know that cartwheel, if you held it, would let you run. part where if you're not caring about 100%, you can just jump into that barrel cannon and go straight to the end. Otherwise, you gotta brave these bees. And hope you don't die to the naughties. Alright, that was tanked up trouble. Phew. Somehow messed with the hitboxes, that's how you did it? Alright, that's a tough, that's a nasty level. That's a nasty level. Arguably, this one's gonna be worse for hero mode, though. It is very tough to get through this level without taking a hit. Great job, Ramby! Ramby, Ramby can't jump very well. Actually, at that point, I might have to kill myself. That's okay, nah. Beaver did it for me. I think you need Ramby in order to open some of the bonus rooms on this level, so... Kinda need him. 
All right, let's. Brampy, you suck. <laughs> He's big, and he can't jump, but he's so powerful. How could you not love him? Okay, there, that time you did it, Ramb. Good job, Ramb. One of the biggest disappointments in my life was when I played Rambi Rumble. It was like the level in uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, where it's all about Rambi, except you don't play as Rambi until the second half of the level. And it's like every- all of the- all of the terrible animal buddies, like Squitter, got their own entire level, but Rambi only got half of one, because he apparently wasn't good enough. And that always ticked me off, because Rambi was my favorite uh, animal buddy by far. It's like, who wants to play for a whole level as Squitter? Nobody. Nobody likes Squitter. Actually, I'm sure I'm sure somebody likes Squitter. I am not one of those people. Webwoods is only saved by the music. Yep. Even then, if you're playing the GBA version, the music's not that great. I thought, that, I thought you could break that open. Mm, guess not. Oh! Hey there, hi there, ho there, you're as welcome as can be. <laughs> Let's find the exit. Squitter is your favorite, Prince Dusk? That is not a popular choice. I just, I should not have done that. That could have ended real badly. That could have ended real badly, but thank goodness I didn't have any tokens. Well, I got 99 lives, so I don't really need this. So I'll get it wrong. It's slightly faster to get it wrong. Only slightly, though. Squitter was certainly unique. But he wasn't that fun to play as. Especially if you don't know the tricks for making all the web platforms. Alright, Misty Mine. This level is really different. This level is, like, really different. All of the column letters are in one bonus barrel. Which is a, another one of those bonus rooms I didn't find for the longest time. So I'm just like, where are the, all the column letters on this level? I didn't find that bonus room for a while. And of course, this is the one with all the cool letters in it. <laughs> and another level that has Expresso that I didn't know about. The elevator level is pretty hard. I somehow managed to beat it without much trouble. Bride needs this. <laughs> Did he say, stop making me lose the bonus games? Oh, oh, that's a different elevator level. Oh yeah, platform perils. That's the hardest level in hero mode. Ow. Here's something I want to check. With level stats... It doesn't say if I've spelled cone on it or not, so I'm going to have to do it again just to make sure. Also, to keep my life count at 99. I'm going to need all 99 of those lives for platform girls. 
not actually. Platform Perils is like crazy to do with just Diddy, but also like, it looks so good. Oh, I didn't need to spell out Colin, I just picked up enough bananas. Ouch! Uh. Platform Perils? There was a time I was, like, interested in hacking Donkey Kong Country and, like, making my own levels with it. I messed around with the level editor for a little bit, and I actually made, like, a really, 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 really tough version of Platform Perils, where you have to, like, navigate all those tiny platforms with the Great Crushes on them with no barrels. It was possible, but boy howdy was it freaking hard. <laughs> if you played that, you would have hated me for years. It's okay, I hated myself for years because of it instead. <laughs> Not actually. I was like, I was actually a huge fan of that level, even though it was stupidly difficult. Get out of here, armadillos. There's the exit. I don't think there was more than two bonus barrels. Boom! Misty Mine! Exclamation point. We played the dancing game. We're not playing the fishing game. The fishing game's... Honestly, the fishing game's definitely better than the dancing game, but it takes a little longer. Alright, Cranky. Last time for your advice. Did it, man, pup? Boy, I can't believe how you've grown. Look at this. My beard swings. Waste of frames, I say. A manic mincers use a TNT barrel to open the way. Steel ringed barrels break only when they smash into a wall. Well, that's about the size of it. Alright, time for loopy lights, which is perfectly easy to do with the lights off in the GBA version. Because, <laughs> again, they assume that the you're going to have a low light just because you're playing on the Game Boy Advance. And this is a level where knowing that the claptraps jump every time you do really helps make the level a bit more easy. Who's that text, text, texting me while I'm streaming? I don't approve. Oh, that's right. I don't think I have to carry a barrel. No, I don't. Ouch! Well, that was a little weird. I don't need no lights. I gotta get the, the K again. <laughs> Sniped. I thought that was the part with the manky cone who was throwing barrels at you, so I wanted to go slower. <laughs> forgot, forgot that the gap was that big. <laughs> what a klutz I am. Yeah, this is supposed to be pitch black on the Game Boy Advance, just because of the lack of backlight. It's not.
Okay, <laughs> I broke up the door and killed the quack trap at the same time. Nice. Game over in this world ten times. No, I don't want to go to the espresso bonus. Oh, this will top off my lives, but I don't want to do that. I want to be be lights. That's where the animal tokens are not are more trouble than they're worth once you leave the like fourth world. I wish you could decline to go to the bonus world if you didn't want to. Beautiful. <laughs> Eleven thousand points. <laughs> Bonus rounds being evil, indeed. Oh well. At least I have 99 lives. And considering how many times I've died, that's kind of impressive. Especially since I haven't been going out of my way to do a ton of minigames. 11,000. I definitely said that right. It definitely wasn't 1,100. That's 11,000 points. I got 110 lives. That would have taken ages to, for the counter to count all that up. I like the SNES version where if you have 99 lives and then get another, you actually have 100 lives. It's just the counter freezes at 99. In this, it is just you cap at 99 lives. Doggone it. I blame that espresso token for all that. That's okay. This is the last boring level. The next level will be interesting. And after that, we just have two tough boss fights. Or rather, one tough boss fight in K. Rool. K. Rool's not so tough once you know it's pattern. <laughs> just think if you have a time limit for each stage. The time limit wouldn't be what kills me. It's just my uh, me being bad that's killing me. It's me, be it's me trying to do this too fast. The faster I try to go, the slower I end up being. That's gotta be a paradox of some kind. With like an official name. It's like the speedrunner's paradox or something. I don't know. It, sh it ought to be a paradox though. We're trying to go so fast that you make a bunch of mistakes and end up taking more time than you would if you had just gone slow. Or is that just the is that just the story of the tortoise and the hare? Oh come on! The Let's Players Paradox? Perhaps. Blam blam. Take this. Yeah, I, again, me trying to go fast. That's what causing that's what's causing me to mess up. I know for the next level there were some crazy shortcuts I ended up discovering via again looking at the level and being like, wait, I bet I could do this. Bunch of really cool roll jumps you can do to lessen the length of the, the journey. So don't, don't land on that guy. For Diddy, it's generally best to roll. Thanks for dropping all three of my jump inputs, game. I appreciate that. Oh, 
up there in lore with the Let's Player's Curse. What is the Let's Player's Curse? Is that... Is that like where, like, if you're a, if you're a Let's Player who play, plays Mario Party and records it, like, all of the craziest stuff starts to happen? I've definitely noticed that's a thing. Just slow your butt down. <laughs> Stop trying to do everything in gear 8 and slow down to, like, gear 5. Oh my gosh, I've almost been live for three hours now. Oh my. That is a lot more than I would have thought. I thought it was like two hours. It bounced off screen. Oh, the Let's First Curse, you're really good at a game when you're not recording, but then it's the moment you press that red dot, you're terrible at the game. I've experienced that. I've definitely experienced that. In fact, that's kind of how it works when I when I play Lemmings levels. Doc got it! Why is this level so difficult? Like, I've honestly found that, like, a lot of times I can solve levels, let me levels faster offline than online. For some weird reason. Maybe it's just because I can break it up. I don't know why Loopy Lights is giving me so much trouble. It's like the levels that aren't supposed to be hard are giving me a hard time, and then the levels that are, like, tanked up trouble, I beat really easily. Wow, you respawn real fast. is in there. Is it was supposed to be a barrel of laughs, and it's not. But ironically, this level's not hard because... Oh my gosh. This level's not hard because of the gimmick, though. On and off lights are superfluous in this level. <laughs> Me just standing there after I realized that I was screwed out of the end, yeah. That's a meme moment. Alright. 
jump over this cliff. We don't jump here. We just run straight in. That moment you're caught venting in among us. In the future, I should just I should have just walked off a cliff instead of pick up that express equipment. I really should have. can be useful for this part. That bee there is evil. This is the part of the Mikey Cone. There we go. Whew, okay. Now time for the real final trial of <laughs> platform perils. This level. Oh, this level is fun if you're Diddy Kong. This level is fun. Honestly, this, is, this level is genuinely fun, it's just Diddy Kong. It's a good challenge. I don't want another ostrich. Keep your ostriches away from me. Well, I don't think I'll be finishing with 99 lives. That's okay. Armadillos on this level are not fun. You once recited the Ten Commandments to prove you weren't an imposter. Oh man, that would be... If only that would work when I played. Nobody would believe me even if I could recite all those Ten Commandments, which I can. Recite the genealogy from Adam to Noah. That would be a, the real test. Oh man, I forgot there was an army deal there. I could, I could finish with 99 lives if I get another ostrich. That's true, but I don't want to. Oh, man. My speedrun strats need some, uh, need some tuning. I kind of thought Diddy was going to pick up the vine barrel there. I guess not. That's what I'm looking for. Darn it. If you time your jump right, you can jump right on top of that second platform. I should... Alright. Enough of that. Enough trying to impress Twitch chat already. Just... Just beat the game. No. I hate armadillos. This isn't even the hard part of the level. This is the easy part.
you can skip that naughty in the middle there. I remember that. Oh no. I forgot about him. This is the part that's difficult. Because you gotta do very precise jump throws. There we go. Last bonus barrel. Oh, so... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have two on guard tokens, so I better get this wrong. There ain't no way I'm playing platform perils again. <laughs> Not for a stupid on guard bonus. And there we go! Alright, now this is the last tough level of the game, Neki's Revenge. This is this is one annoying boss fight. This is annoying even if you have two cones, to be perfectly honest. You gotta alternate hits on Neki and Master or Master Neki and Master Neki Senior. This is the tough part. Gotta dodge five nuts in a row. Okay, cool. First try. Dodging those coconuts is tough. It's just like the old days. Re reusing the boss, changing its color, and pretending it's completely new. That's it, only K rule left to beat. Come on, let's go and kick his scaly butt. Yeah, cranky. Now, before we take on K rule, I just wanted to double check, go to all the level stats. Yep, green, 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 green. Yeah, good. All right, gameplay galleon time. Best Smash Bros. character, K rule. Carol's a fun final boss. He's just... He, he's the exact same fight every time. Very telegraphed. I don't know why I thought that was his final time journey. Use the fact that the crewmates played games together to win during the final three. Nice. Diddy comes like, huh? What's this cannonballs? This isn't as crazy of a fight as the DKC2 final boss. That one is really difficult, but also really satisfying. Take a beating, though. You gotta jump on him a whole bunch. Boom! That's it! That's game! Whew! Alright, that's hero mode done. 100%! Yeah! Eat it, K. Rule. The end. Nah, just kidding.
I like how K. Rool does that fake death and plays fake credits. Had to carry an imposter after. Oh, yeah. Imposter carries are always interesting games. There we go. That's the real game over. Save complete. Yeah, I didn't need Donkey Kong's help. This is Diddy Kong Country now. Very good, Diddy. Who would have thought a whippersnapper like you could get rid of a game of horrid Kremlins? You have really surpassed yourself. Who knows? Maybe you'll make a sequel. What a hero you have turned out to be, Diddy. I can't believe you found everything. Still, you're nowhere near as good as me. I could finish this game in less than ten minutes. No problem. Can you? Perhaps if I got really good at the game. Still shorter than the Clanade live stream. Generally, yeah. Actually, yeah, yep. Still shorter than Clanade. <laughs> That's to be expected. This game is quite a bit shorter than Clanade is. Oh. That's a fun game. I really love the Donkey Kong Country series. DKC2 is my personal favorite, though. Clonade is four hours. I generally start Clonade at one and finish four to five. So yeah, three to four hours. This is a lot longer than Backyard Baseball, though. Hmm. This is one of the games of my childhood. One of the first GBA games I ever owned. And had, has given me endless amounts of enjoyment over the years. Maybe I should try uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. It's not hero mode, it's like hard mode, where you have to type in a specific cheat. You still have both Diddy and Dixie uh, for each for the levels, but you, there are no... Like, so you, every level you start with both Diddy and Dixie, but then there are no buddy barrels, so you have to keep them both alive, basically, if you want to use both of them. And again, no checkpoints, so that could be an interesting stream in the future as well. Not right away, though. <laughs> Might wait a while. Plus, if Nintendo Addict and I actually end up doing a Majora's Mask co-op seed, that'll probably be one of the next incoming ones. That should be a lot of fun. That also probably likely have to be broken up into multiple parts, because I doubt Nintendo Addict will want to do an entire Majora's seed in one sitting. I kind of don't want to do a whole Majora's seed in one sitting. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, who helped make this game and who helped port it to the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Without this Game Boy Advance port, I surely would not have enjoyed the game as much as I have now, because I wouldn't have played it until I was, like, 18. Hiawatha. Rest in peace. Game complete, 101%. 2 hours, 43 minutes, and 2 seconds. Alright, that is Donkey Kong Country Hero Mode. That was a fun little stream to do. Thanks to everybody who joined in. This was a whole lot of fun, and I love getting to interact with people in chat. So, yeah. Again, for those who don't know, I do have a Discord server now. Link is in the My About page, so you can join that if you want. And I will bid you all good night. I hope you guys have a fantastic Thanksgiving break. And when, whenever you celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you have a good time with you and your family and have some good food and some relaxing times. So, until we meet again, my friends, have a great night and God bless.